Hey, you're watching Half Sip, the lockpick and welder. On today's episode, I'm going to be opening this Abus Model 75 IB50. It's one of Abus's dimple locks. It's the uh, the marine version, uh, and it's a, it's a fun, really a fun lock. Uh, it's got a dead core. There's no spring on the, uh, the rather, it's not a spring-loaded shackle, so it's uh, it's quite interesting. Tensioning it is is a little bit different as well. I'm going to be using a uh, bottom of the keyway tensioner and really using extremely light tension. Uh, I've got two Honest Dong Shi uh, dimple picks as well. One of a, a more like shallow hook or shallow flag rather and then uh, more of a steeper flag. The uh, pin 2 is pretty high so it, it likes a steeper flag. Okay, well let's see if this thing will behave. So I just turn the core slightly and just kind of hold my finger there, just prevent it from dropping any pins when I get counter rotation. Feedback on this lock is great as well. So we'll just start from the front, go for one. One is set. I don't know if I can, two is counter rotating, but oh, I think I actually did get it. Nothing on three, four counter rotation. There we go. I guess five was uh, was very nice to us that time. She's super fun, um, super fun. It's a key retaining lock as well, so it stays in the open position. Didn't even have to use the steep flag. Interesting. Um, so again, the bidding is. I mean, it is what it is. It looks like yeah, five is is maybe a pretty high up there. Um, I honestly think in these type of locks, the bidding is kind of meaningless. I'm going around the pins. I'm not like levering under them like in a normal, you know, in a normal pin tumbler lock, you're kind of levering under the pins. So when you lever up, you can hit pins, right? Now with this, I'm going beside them and then levering up beside them. So I should really never have an issue with the bidding. I mean, you know, this, the first pin is pretty much as low as it can possibly be. I mean, it's almost like through the back of it. Pin two is almost as high as it can go. So in a normal pin tumbler lock, I mean, that would be tough. That would definitely be like challenge level bidding right there. But again, because I'm going beside the pins, it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm going around everything. So high, low, it's all. It's all the same, really. The only issue that I've really come into when I first started this was I couldn't get up high enough to get two. So that's where I was using this blue one, but apparently with just a little bit of uh, maneuvering the pick, it gets high enough to, to set it. So anyways, um, that was a lot of fun. I love this lock. I need more dimple locks. I'm really, I'm like totally hooked on dimple locks now. They're super fun. Um, again, I've got an MTL Junior that I've been having tons of fun with and I'll have to do that in a video soon but I want to get that as well so it'll be a little bit longer. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and take care.